Aang's body of work, it, it sort of defies description almost, you know, in terms of the diversity of, of the types of movies he's made and, uh, and just the quality of the work, uh, the direction. And I think it's really something that I've always sort of tried to do in, in, in my own choice of projects is, is find diversity. When Aang came on, he, you know, he, I know, and this was before I started working with him, but experimented with, you know, 48 frames, 60 frames, and then, you know, landed on 120, which for him became that sort of, you know, melting point in a way where everything sort of fused. Um, the, the 3D felt comfortable. The, you know, it, it eliminated the motion blur to a point where the 3D, and it is very comfortable to, to sort of watch the 3D. To have a camera that is, you know, essentially that big and weighs 70 pounds and, and Aang wants to do a, a high speed sort of action handheld uh, fight sequence. Yeah, you know, you, you've got to innovate. You've got to find ways. And, and I think we, you know, we certainly did, had to do a lot of innovating in terms of how we, how we support the camera, how we move the camera. We shot in some spectacular parts of the world and um, and when you sort of some of these these wide shots and you know it, it really does put you there and I think a, a, another sort of great sort of aspect of this format is is just this sense of peering through a window you know of, of really feeling like you can get out of your seat and step through the screen and be there.